This is a re-upload of a video I posted yesterday. A, sus a subscriber, username Robert Steele, pointed out a relevant issue and I decided to redo the video to accommodate it. We'll be talking about that a little bit later. Greetings viewers, this is Scyther88 with another video for the week. Today we'll be revisiting a topic, and that's Pymo. I already uploaded two Pymo tutorials covering the basics, and today I will be going over an additional topic. The topic itself was requested by a subscriber, username Fatima Amanula. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Basically, I will be showing how to delete an amino acid in Pymo and then ligate the backbone, forming a peptide bond. We'll be using the same structure in the two in front in the two previous videos, the Ebola glycoprotein GP1 and GP2 domains in complex with neutralizing antibodies, shown here in the structure. The green and orange are the GP1 GP2 domains, and the uh, blue and red are the antibodies, the heavy and light chains of the FAB region. So first what we're going to do is select the loop that we want to do our deletions in. And I've chosen this area right here for clarity purposes. And I'm going to zoom up to it so we can see this better. Here we go. Okay, perfect. So first what I'd like to do is just start selecting the residues around this area. So click, oh sorry about that. So we're just going to click to select. And as you can see, as I'm clicking through, the sequences is being uh, is being highlighted. So, all right. So this so this looks good. So we selected several residues, um, starting from lysine. Is there another lysine over here? Oh, yes, there is. Okay. So we'll do uh, lysine, lysine, proline. Um, D is uh, aspartic acid. Then we have glycine, serine, and glutamic acid. Okay. Now. Which of these we want to delete? Well, first of all, what, what I like to do is just right click and then show sticks for clarity. And then we're going to right click again and color by element again for clarity purposes. Now we can see all the nitrogens and oxygens um, in uh, red and blue. So the uh, red are the oxygens and the blue are the nitrogens. So which of these do we want to delete? Let's see. How about let's just start with this lysine here, and then we'll just move um, through the through the chain through this loop. Um, okay, this looks good. And after we select these residues, we're gonna right click and remove. And voila, that's pretty much it. That's how you delete uh, an amino acid, or in this case, several amino acids uh, from Pymo. Now the issue here is that we have a gap and we need to close this gap, right? This doesn't look very good. So what we can do now is go to the editing mode. Well, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and click on these two terminal residues, right click, label, atom name. Now we can see the individual atoms. It makes the whole process a little bit easier. So what, we, what we're going to do is just ligate or connect. If we're going to form a bond between this carbon right here, so this carbonyl carbon onto this nitrogen right here. Alright, how do we do this? We're going to the bottom. Right now the bottom says uh, three button viewing. We're going to change the mode to editing. Right, just click on it to change it to editing. So once we have that, we're going to select this carbon here and this, and then this nitrogen here. Now we have two spheres come up and these spheres will be called PK1 and PK2. Next, we're going to go to the menu and we're going to select build and we're going to create bond between PK1 and PK2 and we're going to select that and boom, we have a bond and now the structure accommodates it by forming the cartoon loop um, you know, right there in the middle. So what we do now is get out of editing mode by clicking it once again, the bottom right corner into viewing. Now to make this clearer, we can go ahead and select these two residues right click and just hide for example um, labels and then right click again well before I get to that um, th this is the issue I talked about at the beginning of this video as you can see this peptide bond is unusual, unusually long and that's basically the, the, the limitation for this program in reality although the loop has shrunk and you know as the structure is definitely different from before 
this may not be the true structure um, because this bond is way too long and obviously we need to reassess the bonding energy and perhaps we need to accommodate for rhodomeric changes that need to happen in order for this to be an acceptable mutation. What I mean by that is that for this bond to be shorter, these residues here that are forming this bond might have to change in, in, in its rhodomeric conformation or even other, area, other residues around this uh, deletion in the structure itself. So honestly, um, PIMO is not very user friendly when it comes to this. And after extensive research, I'm not even sure PIMO can handle something like this reliably. The only way to do this, to see whether this loop really looks like this, will be to solve the crystal structure of this mutant and then, um, then look at it through PIMO that way. Obviously, that's not very practical at all. However, though, these techniques that I'm showing you, uh, these deletions and then, you know, this uh, forming of this peptide bond, it's really helpful if you want to, you know, delete residue to show, you know, delete the residues to show in a presentation or to plan out an experiment. Um, but keep in mind, though, there are limitations to this program. So anyway, um, again, to, just to make my point that this loop is closed and it's different from before, we can just click on these residues right click and then we can go to high sticks and voila there we go now that those residues are gone we have a much smaller loop than before but this may or may not be the actual representation again that's almost impossible to tell unless uh, you actually solve the protein structure that's the that's the only true way okay well i hope that you found this use uh, this information useful and uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching. Please um, comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, everyone, this is Scyther88 signing off. Take care.